Hello, my dear students. I hope you all doing great. It's me, Ms. Ala, second grade class teacher. Today's subject is mathematics, and our topic is about numbers to 999. In this chapter, we will learn how to read, write, compare, and order numbers to 999. Now, I want you to bring your book. Your pencil and eraser. The vocabularies that we use in this chapter are ones, tens, hundreds, greater than, less than. You already know about ones and tens, so we start with hundreds. Hundreds is more than or greater than tens and ones. As you can see, hundred is greater than or more than ones and tens. One hundred equals to ten tens and equals to one hundred ones. So whenever we have ten tens, it means we have one hundred. Whenever we have one hundred ones, we have one hundred. So one hundred equals to ten tens and equals to one hundred ones. If we have two hundred, it means we have twenty tens, two hundred ones. If we have three hundreds, it means we have thirty tens. And three hundred ones. Look at these examples. Go to page one hundred nineteen. The first example. We said one hundred is ten tens, and one hundred ones. But here we have, this is ten tens, and another ten tens. So this is 100 and this one is another 100. It means we have 200. 200 equal to 20 tens and equal to 200 ones. Number 2. 100, 200, 300. So 300 equals to 30 tens and equals to 300 ones. Number three, we have 100, 200, 300, 400. So how many hundreds do we have? Four. Whenever we have four hundreds, it means we have 40 tens. 40 tens and we have 400 ones 400 ones now turn your page go to page 120 and please try to do it yourself now let's move to page 121 we talk about place value of digits in three digit numbers we have three digit number here which is 314 314 as you know we have ones tens and hundreds which one is ones four four is ones and which one is tens one the one is tens. Which one is hundred? Three. Three is hundred. Look at these examples. Let's count how many hundreds do we have. These blocks are hundreds. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four, five. How many hundreds do we have? Five. We write five here. How many tens do we have? 
One, two, three. We have three tens. And how many ones do we have? Is there any ones here? No. So we write zero here. And who can read that number? 530. The number is 530. Let's do number three together. Let's count hundreds first. One, two, three, four. So how many hundreds do we have? Four. I write four here. How many tens do we have? Is there any tens? No. We write zero. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six ones. So the number is four hundred six. Look at the other examples. Now I want you to go to page one hundred twenty two and do it yourself, please. Let's move to page 123. Read and write numbers. Numbers can be written in different ways. Look at this example. Let me read that number for you. 243. The number is 243. Here is 243. The place val value of 2 is 100. So 200. 4 tens means 40. 3 ones, 3. The number is 243. Look at this example. Let me read it for you. 100. 85 185 the one is 100 you write down 100 8 tens means 80 5 ones 5 the number is 185 number 2 509 509 how many hundreds do we have five five hundred do we have any tens no zero how many ones nine the number is 509 and look at these two examples as well now i want you to go to page 124 and try to do it yourself, please. Okay. Let's go to page 125 and talk about 100 less, 100 more. So I use 100, tens, and ones. To compare, I have this number for example, the number is 275, 275, I want you to tell me a number which is 100 less than 275, 100 less, 100 less than 200 is 100 so the, num the number is 175 now I want you to give me a number that is 100 more than 275 100 more than 275 the number is 375 Look, here we have 200, 100, 200. The number that is 100 is less than 275 is 175. The number that is 100 more than 275 is 375. 
This is 100 less. This one is 100 more. Look at the examples. The first one is already done. The number is 674. Give me a number that 100 less than 674. So 1 less than 6 is 5. So the number is 574. Give me a number that 1 is 100 more than 675. 100 more than 600 is 700. So the number is 775, 74. Number 2, we have 838. The number that 100 less than 838 is 738. The number that is 100 more than 838 is 1 more than 8 is 9. So the number is 938. And look at the other examples. For example, here we have 154. 100 less than 154 is only 54. 100 more than 154 is 254. So here, 100 less, I subtract it. I remove the 1. But here, I add it. For more, I add 100 more. It means we have 200 here. Now, you can go to page 126 and try to do it yourself, please. Let's go to page 127. Here we talk about order numbers, how we can order numbers. You already know about greater than and less than, right? So, for example, let's compare these two numbers. 765 and 756. The first number, 765, is greater than 756. Greater than. Cat number two. 239 is greater than or less than 250. Of course, it's less than 250. Number three. How many hundreds do we have? One, two, three. How many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many ones? The same, 9. So the number is 399. Here we have 299. So 399 is greater than 299. Another way to order numbers is... To indicate, to tell me which number comes before or after or between given numbers. For example, I want you to tell me which number comes before 501. Of course, 500 comes before 501. Here, I want you to tell me which number comes between 449 and 451. After 449 is 450, then 451. Here, I want you to tell me 
the number that comes after after 99 so after 99 is 100 look at these examples in your book now go to page 128 please do it yourself I'm sure you can do it The last section is we talk about number line, page 129. We talk about number, li number line. Why do we use number line? We use number line to help us to find and put numbers in order from least to greatest. I want to order these numbers from least to greatest so I can use number line. Here we have a number line which is start from 650 till 668. Okay. I give you three numbers. 657 651 661 I want you to order these numbers from least to greatest by using number line okay let's do number one together I'm searching for the least one first the numbers are these three 650 do we have it here no 600 51 do we have it here yes so 651 is the least one among these three okay next 652 do we have it no 653 no 654 655 656 657 yes we have it here so 657 is the second one and of course the greatest one is 661 which is here 661 among these three I mean so I order the numbers from least to greatest and the other examples are the same we search for the numbers here on number line and we order them from least to greatest now you can turn your page go to page 130 and do it yourself please my dear students thank you for your attention hope to see you soon Bye-bye.